All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanna do is start out by saying, if my videos or any of my content has ever given you guys any value, make sure you smash that thumbs up guys and subscribe. This video is gonna be a fairly quick one, one that needs to be said. There's gonna be a little story and then we're gonna get the video done and over with. Now, years ago, I'm talking about years ago, I was in a supply house and there was a guy that come in to the supply house. I was a green helper. He had said that he had a house fire and basically in a nutshell that the fire insurance would not pay for his house because somebody, whether it had been him or whoever, I don't remember, it's been so long ago, in their panel, they had a GE panel, kind of like this right here. And come to find out that in a panel like this, they had a breaker that was didn't match the panel. So in other words, GE panel had a home line or a cutler hammer or whatever. What the fire inspector or whatever did, he came in and he determined that because of faulty equipment, they deemed that breaker to be the problem of the fire. Now, whether it was or not, it doesn't really matter at this point because what had happened was you're supposed to, or you should, after that day, we were told by numerous people, uh, the supply house, our boss, um, anyway, to always match your breakers with the panel. So if you have a G panel, you want to have G breakers. If you have a square D panel, home line, you have a home line breaker, not a GE, not a Siemens, nothing that will fit in there because they will deem that according to, you know, years ago, I'm talking like in 98, 99 era. Now it may be different now. I doubt highly because you guys know just as well as I do that any kind of insurance claims, you know, they want you to pay, but they don't want to pay when it's time to pay. And you know what happens if they find out something like that. So for any of you guys that are handymen, any of you guys that do things on the side work, like, you know, just go after work and, you know, put a slap a breaker in, you know, or if you're in a company, if you own a company or whatever, just make sure that you guys can always back your stuff up because in the long run, they're always going to believe the homeowner. So if you go and do something right and they say, well, I don't like that and they slap another breaker in, you're pretty much going to be screwed. So always keep your, you know, your, your documentation with a picture, with uh, receipts anyway. You know, I'm probably getting a little too far off topic, but the main point of this video is to tell you guys that it is super important not to just slap a breaker in there if the panel doesn't match what the breaker is, all right? That just, you know, don't do it because it's not worth it. You know, you could lose everything. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you guys real quick. Now, the next video, you see this arc fault tester hanging out? Uh, if the video is not out, it will be very shortly. I will be showing you guys how to wire up an arc fault breaker, uh, GFI breaker, and then just a regular breaker. I'll show you how all these meters that I have work, and we'll kind of talk, you know, a little bit in, well, probably much in depth about, you know, this kind of stuff right here, because I think it's important. So, uh, if the video is not out yet, uh, definitely will be soon, so check for it. Uh, it'll be in the end of the video if it is, or down in the description. All right, guys, if you have any kinds of videos that you might want to see in the near future, definitely drop down, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you've ran into anything like this before, because it's important for me to know. I just want to make sure that this video does get out because it's just very important. So if you had a similar instance or if somebody you know had an instance like this, definitely drop down, leave me a comment because I definitely want to know how that played out. All right, guys, if you want to see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.